and we're back so let's continue where we left off now the next thing we need to do here is create this lower part with this image here okay so what I'm going to do because this entire segment is one unit I'm going to create a div right here and put this image inside it and put the uh, user image as well there and these items so let's go to our text editor and continue that so right here we have this uh, this entire part is the blue bar up to there so in HTML if you want to add comments that won't show you just just for your sake you put the uh, the angle bracket and then you put exclamation mark double uh, hyphens there I don't know why it's so complicated so whatever text I add in here as you can see the text has been grayed out which actually means this is a comment now so I can say uh, top bar or blue bar or something like that now to exit this I'll put two uh, two of those dashes and then put the closing bracket like that so this will not show on our website at all it's just a comment for us to see while we are so we don't we don't get confused in our code so in order to continue i'm going to put another comment down here i'm going, just going to say cover uh, area something like that so let's do that and let me create a div down here i want to create this white div here now what i want here is to create an entire div that will encompass all this information down here at once an entire large div here okay so this is the div i have created here i'm going to give it an id and uh, maybe that id will be something like uh, i don't know what i can do, uh, content or something like that uh, let's see all right so since the styles are not so many let me just put them here so first of all I'll give it uh, a background color now the background color here is a light blue this is what we're going to be seeing shining through in here so let me give it um, something with a hash um, what can we give actually let's put the background color on the body so the entire body has that background color and that's hash d0 and then d8 e4 something like that so let me forget about this one no background color needed here let me just give it a width of 800 pixels as well just so that it lines up with this other one here so 800 pixels and a margin of auto Ooh margin auto but let's give it a background image of black just so we can see it and don't get confused so let me refresh this and we see the body has changed color this is what we want but uh, we want a little bit of space at the top here so let me go back on top of the top bar here I'm going to add a break so that everything moves down a little bit much better okay now this one here we can't see it because there's no height so let's just give it a height now what we could do if I give it a specific height it means even when the contents if I add let's say I give it a height of 100 pixels it ends there if I add too much content here the content will overflow and the height will not be adjusted so instead of doing that what I will do instead of just saying height I'll say minimum height like that I'll give it a minimum height of 400 pixels so that if the contents are more it will extend if they are less it will stay at 400 pixels so there we go now we see something happening right there so this is our work area where we're putting everything in there now inside that I want to add another div now this div is this white div here which contains the cover so let me just say div right there hmm. so inside this div let's add um, 
let's add an image in there so we're going to say img again and source now this time we're looking for the cover image and i named it mountain.jpg so mountain.jpg something like that so let's refresh our page and there we see we have an image quite nice but this image should be is inside this div so let's add some styles to this div as well i just wanted to have a background color of white like that uh, let me see what else do i need i want to align my text in the center so that every text i put is automatically aligned in the center something like so and then uh, the text color uh, let me add a text color there there's a color i know already that's 40. Uh, where did i use this text co this color previously i think i used it there so let me get that one let me put it right there okay so now this you can see it slightly there so in in order for us to see it properly let's adjust the image so let's add a style on the image and say width let's give it a width of 100 percent so that it just fills the area that it's supposed to okay there we go that's much better so you see this uh box with black and there's another box that's containing this with white so uh this is the white box containing that so let's add some text down here because if you look at the the mock-up here we have the cover image and then we've got this text down here timeline about friends photos and so on so let's add that text right below the the images okay so i'm going to say timeline space uh, about i think it was space friends space photos space settings okay now let's remember to add a break here so that these things are not on the same line like so and let me refresh and there you see we have our stuff down there all right so it's uh looking good so far now let's add our image here the profile image of the user so let's do that let me go uh, make a space so we're going to add this below the mountain so this is also an img image now as you can remember we named it selfie.jpg not comma but dot jpg something like that and then let's add a bit of styles so here i'm going to say the width mm, let me give uh, actually we might need a few more uh, styles here so instead let me give it an id so i can style it from the top there so i'm going to say id uh, profile underscore peak something like that so that's the id we have so let's go up here instead and add profile underscore pick open close bracket all right so let's add some styles to our profile peak right there so let's begin with the width so let's give it a width of 150 pixels okay now before we go any further let's check and see what we have done so far and there we are so we have our image there selfie image and but we don't need it here we need it up there so we need to move it a little bit now let's reduce the margin on the top in order to do that so let me give it a margin and say margin top so let me reduce the margin top by minus 200 pixels so you see if you add a uh, a margin with a positive number for example if i say margin top let me actually do that let me remove the positive uh, make it a positive number and refresh you see that it will leave a margin here of 200 pixels but if i put it in the negative it's going to raise this thing upward so let me do that and refresh and you see our user has gone higher now we want this to look roundish like what we have there so in order to do that we have that item called border radius which adds 
corners. So if let's say, for example, I add 10 pixels to this and you see that the image is rounded in the corners there, which might be what you are going for. But what I want is extremely uh, round. So I'm going to say 50% instead. And there we go. Quite nice. So let's add a nice border here that is white. So let's say border. And we're going to name the border solid uh, two pixels and white. So what I've done here is the border type is a solid line and the thickness is two pixels and the color is white. And that should be it for our image. There we go. I think that's quite nice. Now we can add a name here below the uh, the selfie image right there. So let me go down here and say something. Oh, this is not the one. It's the profile pic right there. So from there, I'm going to say Mary Bander. And let's see what that does. Right, so in order for it to be on another line, we must add a break. So let's add a break there. Refresh and there we go. Okay, so we are getting there slowly, but sure. And let's check out the original and see where we've gone wrong. Okay, let's move it higher a little bit. So let's try minus uh, 250. Okay, it's not getting any higher. Uh, adjusting that will take too long for this particular tutorial. So we are just going to eliminate the name for now. So where is that? Let me remove this part of the name. It looks much nicer like that. Okay, so, so far so good. And we can leave it right here for the next video as we continue to separate these lines here so that they are much wider. And then we can add uh, these segments down here. So I'll see you in the next video.